Yeah. So apparently I've been uh, either speaking a little too low or sitting too far from the camera. So I've ameliorated both those problems by sitting closer to the camera and speaking up a little bit. Hopefully everybody can hear me clearly. Damn Frenchman. Anyway, um, as usual for Saturdays, I'm going to be on the Sultans of Chatelet in about um, two and a half hours from when I'm filming this. Uh, so, I don't know. Anyway, go on over there, subscribe, Sultans of Chatelet. Um, or check the description of this video. It'll tell you when it is. So, yesterday, I talked about joy, and uh, the day before I had a bit of an emotionally draining day, and uh, ended up having a nightmare that night. I had some serious difficulty getting to sleep in the first place. Uh, ironically, talking about joy yesterday, I had a very, hmm... Let's call it spiritually engaging dream last night, or spiritually refreshing would be good. And in the dream, uh, and I mean, I know I dream every night and rarely remember them, uh, but this one is very clear in my head still, and I'm not long off. Uh, but <clears throat> in the dream, I'm running through the forest, and when I say running, I mean running, uh, full sprint, wind in my, well, not hair, obviously, but <laughs> you get the idea. Um, and I uh, come to a, a series of drops, boink, 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 bounce down those, and then freeze because I spotted deer out of the corner of my eye. There are no deer in Newfoundland. And I've never seen a deer in the woods. Uh, never gone deer hunting. <clears throat> the only time I've seen a deer particularly close uh, was near some train tracks in an alley in a town. Uh, at which point I took off a full sprint and damn near caught the thing. <laughs> a friend of mine and I were out walking and uh, going to a friend's place actually. And this deer, I think he was fairly young, may have been female, I didn't really get that good a look, it was dark. Uh, but this deer is maybe 10 feet from us when we come around the corner. And my, I guess, hunting instinct kicked in. And, of course, the, the fun-loving side of me as well, the boyish side of me. And I took off running. My friend had no idea what had happened. He hadn't seen the deer. He just saw me come around a corner, slightly ahead of him, lift my head, basically go on point, and suddenly I'm gone. <laughs> uh, bag of goodies I was carrying uh, and all. Um, and if it hadn't been for the bag of goodies and the very heavy, very long coat that I was wearing, because it was winter, um, I suspect I might very well have caught this deer. <laughs> But the, uh, and of course the next question in your head was, what the hell would you have done with that deer if you caught him? It's not counting if it's in town, it's not, it doesn't count as hunting if you catch it in town and no one sees it. <laughs> and yes, if I had been caught uh, butchering this deer, and faced court time, I would quite happily have told the judge the exact same story I'm telling you guys. With the addition of, hey, I caught the deer. Thinking back on it, I outweighed this deer by, oh, I probably had 50 pounds on this thing. Anyway, um, I didn't catch the deer. I hopped the fence and it was gone. Uh, but in the dream, I dropped down and I see a deer out of the corner of my eye. Then I look 
and there's actually two deer and a wolf stalking them. Apparently none of them having heard me, which is damn near impossible. <clears throat> if I was running full sprint, there's no way those creatures would have stayed there. So that was the first tiny bit of, okay, maybe this isn't exactly real. But at about that moment, my alarm went off, and that was the end of the dream. I opened my eyes and was like, oh, i got to shut that thing off. It's a little dopey when I first opened my eyes, because everybody is when you come out of a dream. But um, that feeling of exhilaration and just uh, absolute freedom of movement is kind of sticking with me. So um, I'll probably have a smile on my face anytime I'm talking about this today. Uh, but it's one of those things where your brain sometimes gives you what you need and reflects your mental state. So I think it kind of anecdotally uh, provides a little evidence for my point about keeping your mental state where you want it consciously through the day. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm still dealing with this thing in my throat. Plus the thyroid disease doesn't help that. Um, actually, I have to pause to clear my throat. And my voice is a little bit rough because I spent some time online yesterday uh, doing some gaming. In any case, um, yeah, you know, uh, keep your mental state where you want it throughout the day. And it should make a difference for the night. One tends to hope. Uh, you know, nothing I say should be taken as absolute medical advice. Not a doctor, not a psychologist. But I've been through some shit. And if anything I suggest helps you guys, pass it on. If it doesn't, well, it didn't work for you. It might not work for anybody else. Maybe it only works for me. But, hey, what's the harm in passing the knowledge around? Anyway, uh, as I said... The Sultans of Chatelet is in about a little under two and a half hours now, and uh, I've got a couple of pieces of good news to share with the Sultans, and I'll keep it for a surprise to encourage you guys to come and hang out. Uh, other than that, that's it for me today. Oh, excuse me. Remember your manners, kids. <laughs> anyway, uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you are so inclined, there is a donation link as well. Love you all. And, of course, the new sign-off. Rise and rise again until lambs become lions. Bye-bye.